I can talk pretty loud. How is that, everybody? Okay. All right, as Peter said, my name is Natalie. I moved to New York this past May from Nebraska, where I was born and raised. Um, over the past couple of years, I have been involved in many of the actions against the Keystone XL pipeline in my home state. You see, you see, in Nebraska, we are very concerned about the KXL pipeline, and the proposed route will cut through the sand hills, a biodiverse and unique ecosystem, not to mention the Ogallala Aquifer, our country's largest freshwater reserve, as well as the source of fresh water for 85% of Nebraskans. But it is true that if this water source is compromised, we will all be affected. I can say that through my involvement in these actions, I have never seen a more encouraging testament to the human spirit. It has shown me that we can turn the tides of climate change. We can. I've witnessed groups of people who were past political adversaries come together in the name of stopping the KXL pipeline. People like young idealist environmentalists, or sorry, like people like young idealist environmentalists and old ranchers coming together and protesting together. You've never seen anything like it. Um, I've witnessed environmental, religious, and political groups from all over the country converge in Nebraska to stand up to Trans Canada. Along with all of the actions happening all across the country, such as this one right here, all of us together, Today, in York, Nebraska, population 7,000, they are putting the final touches on a solar and wind power generating barn that is right in the direct path of the Trans-Canada Pipeline. So if this pipeline goes through, Trans-Canada is gonna have to literally tear down a clean energy source in order to build their dirty and dangerous pipeline. So I'm just gonna say, this past week on Thursday, Jane Klebb, who is the executive director of Bold Nebraska and one of the leaders of the Keystone XL pipeline resistance, she testified in front of the House Committee of Energy and Commerce. And you know what? They tried to bully her. They tried to personally attack her. You know why they did that? You know why members of the House of Representatives did that? Because they're scared. Because they're scared. That's why they did that, because they're scared. And you know why they're scared? They're scared because the pipeline hasn't been built yet. They don't know something that we've known for a long time. It's not going to be built. It's not going to be built. because the State Department and Barack Obama would not betray the people who helped put him in office. Well, we would hope not. We would hope that he's listening to us. We would hope that the State Department and Barack Obama is listening to us right now as we stand here and stand up against the Keystone XL pipeline. Okay, this is in conclusion, guys. I'll get a little bit of um, help for my conclusion. <laughs> um, so it's true that KXL is but one of many environmental crises facing the US, Nebraska, and the world. But together, we can draw the line. We can draw the line to stop it and show oil companies and their supporters <coughs> that we are coming together and we will not be bullied. Save our water, protect our land, no KXL. No KXL, 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 no KXL.
Well, here in New York, we know a little something about dirty.